Hello guys, welcome back, konnichiwa, herzlich willkommen. So guys, I give you here a brand new update on NEO trading here on the New York Stock Exchange. We have now here a price of $5.26. This is a little bit lower than we want to have the price here because we have some significant yeah, make it or break it price level here where uh, the sticker or the price is deciding here to go up in favor for a squeeze or if it tanks down, you can see all the lines here in the chart. So I will explain you what that means. Of course, I give you here a full chart analysis for NEO and this is not financial advice. Yeah, if you're new to this channel, welcome. The main purpose is to educate you in trading. That's why I will show you here some yeah, chart techniques. Of course, I love to talk about short squeeze stocks. Not only talk about them, I try to predict them and I want to check with you together here if NEO is also a short squeeze play. Yeah, first of all, before we dive in here into the technicals, we have to understand that we have some yeah, lack of data here in Fintel. So the official float is not available in Fintel since a few weeks. That means that usually update Fintel their database here by the mid of the month and by the end of the month. So next week, guys, we could have here finally some numbers, then we know the actual float. Of course, maybe when you check the latest SEC filings, you will find out this by yourself. And you can see that the latest reported short interest was 9% of the float. When we see what Fintel is uh, writing here, nothing because the numbers are not actual uh, there, but the short interest should be 188 million shares. This is the officially calculated short interest. You can see that in the tables here, we have 168 million shares. So that is a significant uh, gap of 20 million shares. So I waiting here still for the numbers. This is very unusual that you have something like this here in Findle. Normally you always see the data, but updated, they are just updated twice a month. The rest is here calculated. That's why we have to wait here for the next week. But it doesn't matter guys, we don't need to wait for these numbers. We can already uh, see what the chart is telling us and the problem which still NEO has is that we have some open down gaps to the downside. So all these orange fields with you, which you see here in the chart are open gaps to the downside. And I know you don't want to hear that guys, but the chance that these open gaps get filled is about 90%. That means sooner or later, yeah, and this is not to scare you. I just give you here my honest opinion, guys. Yeah, I'm not here to hype you up. I'm not here to collect clicks. I'm not here to scare you. I just give you my honest opinion based on the chart and based on my experience as a trader. And the chance that we close these open gaps is about 90%. And that means the lowest open gap in the daily chart, which we have for NEO, is waiting here at $1.55. That don't needs to happen next week. That can happen in a few months, in a few years. But keep that in mind, guys. We have also stocks like GameStop where also open gaps are still waiting, which is very predictable. And you can see even then GameStop squeezed almost 800% in May. So there is still a lot of potential. And this is the good news, guys, that NEO has a lot of open gaps to the upside as well. And as long as they don't dilute the hell out of the stock, and it doesn't seem so because we can see that the, the, the float here is quite stable. Of course, we have here some volume spikes in between, but it's not like that we have a huge increase of the volume. So that is not like they're deluding the hell out of the stock, but just keep that in mind that we have still open gaps and technically these gaps need to get filled. So guys, now I enable here the drawings. Nothing changed, of course. I never change or adjust my charts as long as the company is not performing reverse stock splits. Everything stays the same. And what did I just mention in the beginning was the make it or break it price level. So we have here yeah, three significant price levels in the chart for NEO. One of them, which is in favor for a squeeze and favor for the bulls is $5.37. So that means the bulls will try to keep the price above $5.37. The bears will try to bring the price down back here in this green liquidity box. So the main support which we have here, yeah, based on the history and based on what we saw here actually happened for NEO. So this last squeeze, which we had the biggest squeeze here from the past uh, months, guys, was this one here, 108%. This is good, guys. This is something which I call a short squeeze. Of course, this is not a short squeeze in terms of that shorts need to cover their positions. No, the shorts drive the price down as much as they can and then start to cover. So it's not literally a short squeeze. This is where shorts start to cover at least a few of their positions. And this is also visible here in Fintel. 
that we had here a very high short interest of 192 million shares then they covered some of the shorts then they shorted again then they covered again and you can see they're playing here ping pong but the overall short interest is of course still very very high as i said if the float would be here 1.3 billion shares then we have around here yeah, a little bit more than 10 percent is the short interest of the float but i want to wait here for the actual numbers you can see the last reported number was 9.2 percent of the float yeah guys so what happens next what is my opinion here based on the chart this is here not a financial advice but what i expect here is that we have to yeah technically we have to retest this golden pocket the market is very very bullish right now and we have a lot of squeezes guys yeah i have here some very special tickers in my pocket and i try to predict here short squeezes every week there is never a guarantee but i give my best to select tickers which have high squeeze potential and i try to predict short squeezes guys and i did that successfully very very often already here so a brand new video if you want to see this guys is out now today i released it today every sunday i release these so-called hot stock videos and these videos have my finest selection of short squeeze stocks which have high squeeze potential so the tickers which you find in the today's video is what i expect or the tickers could squeeze starting next week there is never a guarantee but this week guys we had also two very big squeezes here once one ticker here after my video release guys always sunday i release my videos and then one day later this ticker start to rip 290 percent a very very beautiful squeeze and this <laughs> second one here was even more violent i also as i said now always sunday is the video release and this ticker ripped 854 percent and is still squeezing so this is absolute crazy and of course this is something what does not happen every day but the market situation is very very bullish since a couple of months now also here in september one of my biggest squeezes or this was the biggest squeeze in september which i uh, which one of my hot stocks had was 1400 percent it's absolute crazy if you want to uh, see these tickers guys you can of course join in here our trading community show you that really quick uh, the most popular membership which i have is the full package membership on patreon guys we're growing here every day every day new members joining in and if you also want to join in you can click here the info icon in the corner guys then you get access to the links it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or advanced trader everybody is welcome and then of course you get access to all the member videos the hot stock videos and the different member content which i create here almost every day guys so let's now go back here to neo yeah I think guys we have a good chance that this is just some kind of fake out so what I expect to happen yeah I have this trend channel pattern here in the chart which I rely on yeah this is my trading strategy for NEO I rely on this pattern here guys yeah very very simple trend channel pattern we have so many touch points here with fake outs and we know that the algos which uh, are yeah, controlling the price here for NEO they respecting this trend channel pattern and that means guys that we should test this a top line here one more time that didn't happen here it looks like that we try to test it but that is not a successful retest guys so what i want to see for neo is that we first come back here to the golden pocket back to five dollar 86 and six dollar eight here is already one volume coming in you can see that that we also get rejected here at five dollar 37 not yet a perfect retest of course i could adjust this line here by a few cents but i will not do that guys i always keep my charts as they are guys so as long as we're trading below five dollar 37 this is not bullish for neo guys what would be bullish when we come over this price because then i expect that we at least come back to the golden pocket and in best case we try to break out out of this trend channel here and retest the previous resistance here of seven dollar 84 so what does that mean guys from a swing trade perspective we have here a potential for a small swing trade of 15 percent honestly it's good guys but this is for me mickey mouse that is almost not worth it to put a trade here or risk a trade this is not enough profit for me but when we just retest here the top of this trend channel in the next days we're talking here about 30 percent 25 to 30 percent depending on the day this is the top line here of this trend channel and of course if really neo can start to pick up the pace and that means we have to at least it's not enough guys when we just come back here to the golden pocket we need to go over six dollar 39 with volume then we have a chance to retest here the previous uh, price level here of seven dollar eighty four and that could bring us here a forty eight percent pump 
Yeah, if we want to see a squeeze, so when we talk here about a short squeeze, guys, then in my opinion, we need to break $7.84. There is no way around. Without breaking $7.84, we cannot pick up squeeze momentum. You can see that this is a very significant price level. We have a liquidity zone here, uh, which is supporting the price, but we need volume. Without volume, that will be not possible. We have a lot of open gaps to the upside, and that's why Neo can easy, guys, easy squeeze back over $10 and then pick up the pace. So I still, before we can talk here about a short squeeze scenario, we have to leave this trend channel pattern. It's not only the price levels here. First of all, it is this trend channel pattern. When we can start to break out this trend channel pattern, guys, then we can even maybe see a bullish reversal and something like a squeeze or short squeeze before we finally close in the next month or years, the open gaps to the downside. This is the bull case. The bear case is, guys, that the volume is in favor for the bears and not for the bulls that we get rejected here. Maybe we try to start to, as I said, technically we have to come back here to this level. Yeah, there is, this is almost like a golden rule for Fibonacci that you have to come back here in this golden pocket. But if we cannot manage it to do that, and you can see that also Neo squeezed a few times here back to $6.24. Here is one open gap at $6.57. So that would absolutely not surprise me if we come back here. And as I said, what I want to see is that we not just see a, a heavy rejection like this. Yeah, you can see we tried to break out here and then had a huge sell-off reaction here, an absolute massive sell-off reaction from minus 35% here, just sell-off reaction by the algos. So we need a lot of more bull power to break these levels. The bear case, guys, the bear case is that we get rejected here at $5.37 or just close the gap and see a huge sell-off again. And then unfortunately, we will come back first in this liquidity zone here between $4.42 and $3.28, guys. There is a very strong support, a very strong technical support. When I talk here about support, I don't mean that we here talk about the long-term bottom. I always talk here about technical reactions in the short term. Also, it means uh, not the short, uh, means the time period. And then here between $3.43 and $3.34, guys, we have here a very, very strong support. And this is honestly what I'm waiting for before I load the boat for NEO, guys. As I said, very quick swings, yeah, because we have open gaps to the downside. Don't be surprised if you see for what reason ever here a huge price drop in the next weeks or months, guys. This is possible, but for now we concentrate on the actual price situation. And we have here a very, very small support. Here is a very small support at $4.90, guys. Here in that area, let me switch off, uh, switch one more time to the 4 hours chart. There is a slightly chance here, guys, $4.93. Yeah, yeah, between $4.80 and $4.93, guys. Here in that range, there is some potential of support waiting here for NEO. You can see that when we traded above this price level here, we always picked up again the volume to the upside, but when we got rejected here, then the bears finally stepped in. So let's mark that here in the chart, $4.91, $4.90. Uh, don't nail me here on the absolute cent, but this is here something also what I call a make it or break it price level here which decides if we just drop down or if we find support. That looks here like a head and shoulders pattern, to be honest. I, I don't like to trade these kind of patterns, but we have here a shoulder, the head, and we need the second shoulder, guys. And that is usually, that don't have to be in the same high like this, but the golden pocket retest would not surprise me. And that would mean we create here our second shoulder and then Finally, we could also start to tank down a little bit more. Guys, that is my update here for Neo. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do so, guys, please hit the like and subscribe button. I upload here every day almost, yeah? Short squeeze content, guys, and very interesting stocks. Yeah, if you want to copy the price levels here, I know this is now a lot of price information, but it is what it is, guys. We have to be very, very sharp here if we want to cut out profits from the market. So most significant price levels to make it simple for you, $4.90, guys, $5.37, and $6.08, guys. These are our next price goals here for the upcoming trading days for NEO. If you want to copy the price levels, this here is everything based on trading view, guys. This is a chart program that I use for all my videos and for all my trades. And if you also want to learn trading and get this chart program for yourself, guys, you can use my discount link. If you click the info icon here in the corner, then you get access to my discount link, guys, and you save $15. And I always recommend the premium tier. This is good for beginners and advanced traders. Guys, that was my update on NEO. I hope that was helpful. If uh, this was helpful, guys, please hit the like and subscribe button. I yeah hope we see us in the next video and I wish you a very, very nice day and great success 
with all your trades. Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Vielen Dank. Viel Erfolg mit NIO. Und bis zum nächsten Video. Take care. Alles Gute. Bye bye guys.